Hey everyone, this is Ankur and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this tutorial, I am going to show you some easy fixes of the problems that you encounter while editing your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and see. So this is my Premiere Pro. Let's import a video clip first. Hit Ctrl I and choose this clip. Now drag this clip onto the timeline here. So whenever you drag any clip for the first time onto this timeline, it creates a default sequence. The sequence dimension is that of sequence of the clip. So whenever you hover on this, it says that the clip is of 1920 cross 1080 dimension. Go to sequence, sequence settings and you say 1920 cross 1080. Now let's import another video which is of different dimension, let's say 4K. So I'll choose this clip recorded in 4K. Now I'll drag here onto this timeline. So now you see the source clip and the, the clip which is on the timeline. This clip is zoomed in. This is because the sequence by default is 1920 cross 1080 and we have imported a clip which is of different dimension. Now how to fix this? The fix is easy. Select this, right click and click on set to frame size. So it will automatically zoom out. Let's say this clip is little bit shaky. Now I need to stabilize this. How to do that? Go to effects, search for warp stabilizer and apply here. So this will throw an error. Warp stabilizer requires clip dimension to match sequence fixed by nesting. So what I'll do is I'll go to effects control panel. I'll delete this warp stabilizer applied. I'll right click nest. Okay and then drag this warp stabilizer here. Now it will stabilize this uh, footage. So the video clip is stabilized. Now let's say after stabilizing the clip, I want to change its speed. I want to increase its speed. So I'll press R, time remapping tool, and then I'll do this. So it will shout. Web stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. Now how to fix this? The fix is easy. Press Ctrl Z. Now you need to nest it again. Right click, nest, click OK. And now if you drag here, there will be no error, no such issue. So let's import another clip first. This is the clip that I am importing. Let's drag it here. And now I am going to nest these two clips. Nested. So there is a direct way to nest any clip, but there is no direct way to unnest it. So if you right click here, you will find nest, but you won't find unnest. So there are situations when you nest it, but you want to unnest it again. So how to do that? So the clip which is nested, double tap on it and it will pop up another window beside this. So this is the, because we nested two clips. So here are two clips. So how to replace this nested clip by these two clips? It's simple. Control A to select all, Control C to copy and then come here and simply paste it. So these two clips are pasted here. Now delete this and similarly for this nested clip, you can repeat the same, double click on it and it will open the nested sequence. Double click on it, it will open the nested sequence. So this was the original clip. We nested to apply the warp stabilizer. We nested again to increase its speed. So this is the way you do unnest. So the folder from which I imported these two video clips is this one. 
so now let's move these clips into another place control a control x and i had moved this clip into the folder to control v accidentally many times we do this we change the location of the file and then when we return back to the premiere it shouts because the media has been moved to another place now let's say this window doesn't pop up in your case so how will you locate it press cancel right click on the clip and go to link media and then hit locate now go to the location where you have moved this and click search so now that error has gone similarly for this clip go here link media locate select the folder where, where you have moved this clip click search and then hit ok and now see the error has gone so this is the way how you can recover when such error happens when you move the clip to another location so this is all from today's tutorial hope you guys must have liked it in case of any questions please do shoot in the comment section so if you like this video please do like comment and subscribe this channel and i will see you soon till then bye bye take care